But just these three things will carry you if you let them. First and foremost, knowing who you are. Being able to answer this question, who am I and what do I want? You know, many times when I go out of the country, I am baffled by that question to explain what is your occupation. I've, I've stood there for 10 minutes. Well, am I a talk show host? Well, I'm more than a talk show host. Am I a businesswoman? I'm a businesswoman. I'm more than a businesswoman. Am I an entrepreneur? I'm more than an entrepreneur. So I just leave it blank or self-employed. So I'm not asking for the roles that you play as daughters. I'm not asking that question. What are the roles that you play as a daughter, as a friend, as a sister? You're going to be a lawyer. You're going to teach. You're going to be a pharmacist. I'm asking the bigger question of who am I? Who am I really? My answer is I am God's child. I am that which is born of all that is. I am, as Pierre de Chardin said, a spiritual being having a human experience. Come trailing the breath of the ancestors yet, but trailing the breath of the angels. And understanding that because I am connected to the source of all that is, all that is possible is possible for me. That's who I am. And what do I want? I don't want to just be successful in the world. I don't want to just make a mark or have a legacy. The answer to that question for me is I want to fulfill the highest truest expression of myself as a human being. But you can't fix everything and you can't save every soul, but what can you do? Here and now, I believe you have to declare war on one of our most dangerous enemies and that is cynicism. Because when that little creature sinks in, it hooks into you, it'll cloud your clarity, it'll compromise your integrity, it'll lower your standards, it'll choke your empathy, and sooner or later, Cynicism shatters your faith. When you hear yourself saying, oh, it doesn't matter what one person says. Oh, well, so what? It's not gonna make any difference what I do, who cares? When you hear yourself saying that, know that you're on a collision course for our culture. And I understand how it's so easy to become disillusioned, so tempting to allow apathy to set in because anxiety is being broadcast on 157 channels, 24 hours a day, all night long. You must have some kind of vision for your life. Even if you don't know the plan, you have to have a direction in which you choose to go. I never was the kind of woman who liked to get in a car and just go for a ride. I had a boyfriend who would say, let's just go for a ride. I wanna know where are we going? Do we have a destination? Is there a plan? Or are we just riding? What I've learned is that's a great metaphor for life. You want to be in the driver's seat of your own life because if you're not, life will drive you. Knowing who you really are in this space and time that we embody, that's number one. What do you want? Who are you?